Hi, everyone. It's Nancy. Today is October twenty third, twenty twenty one. How are you doing? From today, I'll start to share with you about possession. And in this first video, we will talk about what is being possessed. A few years ago, when we were walking on one of the streets in San Francisco, there was a man in red clothes walking ahead of us. Master told us to pay attention to this man. The man was walking by himself. At the same time, he was talking to himself. This is what he was doing. He turned his head to the left to talk, and then he turned his head to right to talk. Master said, "There were two beings talking to each other through this man's." Mouth. In another word, this man was possessed by two beings. Possession is very common nowadays. Actually, more than eighty percent of the people are possessed by other beings. It means that in this body, not only our energy is in here, but also. Others. When our energy is strong, we may not feel the possession. But when our energy is weak, the possessing beings dominate. My grandmother spent her last few years in bed. She lost her mobility in a stroke. She couldn't recognize many people, including my mother. Who she lived with, she would scold people and cry. She was not the nice grandmother anymore. There are many possession examples. Possession phenomenon is very common all around the world. In some countries and areas, it is more severe. People with deep samadhi power can see the possessing beings. Most time, they are this person's creditors. They could be animals. They could be ghosts. They could be demons. They exist in various forms. I just watched a video the other day. In the video, the aborted fetus possessed. The daughter of a couple, and he was talking through their daughter to this couple. He expressed his hatred toward this couple, who were supposed to be his father and mother. He talked about the reason why he chose to be born in their family. He said he he was to pay his gratitude toward the mother because this mother saved his life in the previous life when he was an animal. But after he was aborted, his gratitude changed to hatred and resentment. He talked about why around the world the children don't listen to their parents. The reason. Is the aborted fetuses? They were in the invisible world, interfering the harmony of the family because they had a lot of hatred and resentment. They would think, "Why you can live in happiness, not me? Why I have to live in miserable world?" In the video. The aborted fetus asked the parents to repent in front of the Buddha and make vows to take the body away. It was a long video, and at the end, the mother and the father did repent in front of the Buddha and make the vows to protect the proper dharma. They. Aborted fetus hatred and resentment 
was resolved and he became free at the end. We live in a world of cause and effect. When we hurt other beings, we have to repay them. Of course, when we help others, others will help us. Because different animals have different character and a fuss tends to be have a mind of hatred, a mind of strong hatred and retaliation. That's why people should avoid to wear skin clothes of fox and other animals because that will incur them to stay on your body. As I said in one of my previous videos, if a mother aborted a fetus, it is very possible that this mother will have long term of depression. Not only that, the family may lose harmony and the mother may get this and or that kind of disease. It is all from the aborted fetus, from the hatred and resentment of the fetus. Amitabha, this today's Dharma share, we just lightly touch upon possession. The invisible and the visible worlds are one. The invisible affects the visible. Actually, or you may say, the invisible dominates the visible world. Behind everyone, they are invisible beings. In the gambling room, on the people who are gambling, there are ghosts who also like gambling. For the people who like sexual conduct, there are also ghosts who like sexual conduct with them. Beings with the same habits attract each other or like each other because they share the same karma. We will continue to talk about possession next time. Thank you everyone for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.